Judeha has found out that Rachel's a catfish, don't know how, Kevin is still being a creep, and we were left on a cliffhanger. Who's going to be blocked? Let's get into episode four. Hi guys, Gord Camp here, and we're about to head in for episode four. But before we do that, I need to just give you guys a bit of a caveat. There was a copyright claim on one of my uploads, so I've had to take all the footage off the videos. It was something I hadn't even thought about. The, I don't know if the audio was picked up or the, the footage had been picked up, but I didn't realize copyright, obviously. So today, from this point onwards, you get me on my own sim without the footage. So that's just how it is. I can't do anything about that. Anyway, episode four, we were left on a cliffhanger again. Michelle Buteau, what are you doing to us? Who's going to be blocked? Let's get into it. Episode four. And as always, the start music gets me. Oh my God. Okay. So who is it? So all the boys were trying to figure out who to block and we were going, is it Savannah? Sorry. No. Was it Andy who evicted Gianna or blocked Gianna before, but she ended up not going or Savannah. Kevin was meant to be her boyfriend. I can't believe it. Savannah has been blocked from the circle. And she came last in the ratings. So, blocked. Oh, don't cry, Savannah. Don't cry. She trusted him so much. Kevin, he was a creep. No, it doesn't feel good, Kevin. Because she thought you were like in a partnership. Yes, Rachel. Gianna looked after you. Gianna looked after and got your back. I don't think she's going to go. Oh no, the, yes, the circle said they will definitely be blocked. There was no out this time. Alert! She gets to choose somebody to go and see. I think she'll go to Kevin. She got angry last time. Savannah, before you leave, you can meet one player face to face and it's going to be Kevin. I don't think you should give him the satisfaction. I think you're right. Ignore Kevin, don't give him. Oh, she's got to go and look, get changed. She's going to look fabulous. That means she's going to go and see Kevin. She wants to piss him off. Alert! Savannah has been blocked from the circle. We know. What's next? And what? Before Savannah leaves, she can meet one player, which we know. Who is it going to be? If she's getting dolled up, she's going to meet Kevin. Oh, she looks fierce. I love that outfit. She's like a... Sailor girl. And I love the pumps. Oh gosh. Go on, Savannah. Get Samson. Take your wee Pucci. Okay, everyone's running around. <laughs> everyone's getting ready to see if she turns up to see them. Gianna's getting the cookies in the jar. Just in case. Get the kettle on. How long is this corridor? She's taking forever. Come on! I wonder who she's coming to. Oh, the twins are sure she's going to see them. She's looking too fierce. She wants to get Kevin up it. Up yours, Kevin. <laughs> okay, who is it? Who is it? It's Kevin, I knew it. If she is going to get dolled up, she wants to piss him off. Oh, look at Samson, he's such a cute little boy. Oh God. He's got odd Crocs on, why has he got odd Crocs on? Is that a thing? He does want to stay. No, we really need to know why you evicted her though. He's annoyed. She was she was right, he's so annoyed. So they wanted Andy. Gianna wanted Andy to go, but really wanted to get rid of Savannah. Kevin wanted Rachel to leave, but because Savannah was laughed, they obviously, that's what I said last time, they've switched. They've gone with somebody completely different. They've thrown it out of the box. He's a liar. He's a schemer. He's playing such a good game, but poor Savannah, I actually liked him. Squirm, Kevin, squirm. Like the worm that you are. Oh, she's gone. I like Savannah. The twins were nervous that she was going to go and see them. You're right, Rachel. She wanted to know what happened and she found out what happened. We found out what happened. Never seen it coming. They both voted each other first. And now she's gone. I think they are quite cute together. I think they do like each other. 
and there's a glitter in their eyes when they're talking to each other. I, now, remember, in episode one, I said when you're influencer in the first episode, you fall very quickly. Savannah was the influencer in episode one. Episode four, she's gone. I would not want to be the influencer straight away. It would feel good, but I know I'd be gone. She went from influencer to last like that. Bye, Savannah. Oh, I like you. Look at the outfit. She's so nice. She's so upset. She was beautiful, Kevin. You're correct. Yes, Michelle just mentioned the mismatched Crocs. I said that five minutes ago. She's five minutes late. He's upset. He's the one who blocked her. <coughs> Today has dinner moisturizer. That's what I do. I talk to myself in the mirror. Like Jojo or Nikki, whoever that was. Because they're twins. I could tell that was a tough decision for Kevin. But now the question is... It's still quite early in the game. Jojo and Nikki, also known as Gianna, or Kevin, I've got a far distance to fall as well. They can't stay up for good. Good night, Circle. Let's see what tomorrow brings. I hate these cliffhangers because it always starts at the end of a day. It's confusing. I can't keep up. Good morning, Atlanta. Up and at it. Come on. Wakey, wakey. Who's got muscles today? Kevin's got his muscles out. Darian's in the mirror. Andy's chilled with her glasses on in bed. And Jade has immediately on with the makeup. The twins are in bed together. Remember, they're brothers. They're not a couple. They're a couple of brothers. That was from the first episode, remember. If you didn't see that, you need to go back and watch it. Rachel, is that B? You did well, Rachel. You made the right alliance, I think. Kevin is still on to the Madeline thing. I told you, he's a creep. Or he's just, it's gameplay. I think he's just making out that he's a creep. Or he's coming across creepy. Because he's always with the girls. He always goes for the girls. But isn't that just how guys think? Hmm? And the twins are so good because they kept that, um... Oh, they're all playing. Yeah, the twins, they kept, um their feelings about people who went against them. They're bitter. And that's creating a good game. Garrett's doing his stretches. <gasps> the news feed has been updated. They're going to see Savannah for the first time. And they're all nervous. <coughs> Savannah has left a message for the circle. Oh, Savannah. Oh my God. There's no way. That a little blonde girl is going to pop up on the screen. Circle, show Savannah's message. Hi, Savannah. Everyone's so happy she was real. Madeline was wrong. Madeline thought she was catfish. Savannah's message is so cute. She's cute. She's got the best outfit on from last night. Yeah. Andy is hurt. You're right, Savannah. Anything can happen. Watch who you trust. Ah! That, that is it. Alliances don't mean anything. Savannah hit the nail on the head right there. Everyone is shook. These, these are the kind of messages that we need when people get blocked. We need them to just go, do you know what? Be careful. These are the idiots who you think are your friends. The twins are actually genuinely keeping their alliances. The good people. Yeah. That's exactly what it means, Kevin. Your word means nothing. And everyone knows it now. Very cute dog. I've been saying that since episode one. I love this. Circle. Chat now open. Let's go. Madeline thinks everyone's sketchy. It's gritty now, isn't it? They're trying to figure out who Savannah is talking about. Hashtag fake alliances. I love the inspector glass emoji. I love that. Kevin has made a hole for himself. Now, I hate... I say this in every episode, but I don't like to say I'm right, but I said it. I predicted all of this. I predicted it all. Jadeha's message is just protect those who protect you. Hashtag is wrong. Kevin is protecting no one. That's what I said. Gianna, spot on. Gianna. Throwing Kevin under the bus. I love this. Kevin does not have a leg to stand on. He's not pinching you to look like a bad guy, Kevin. You are the bad guy. 
and you're kind of creepy as well. Always looking for Madeleine or Savannah or the girls, Judea. You just love all the girls. You don't think care anything about the guys. Even Andy, who's been catfished by a girl. What? And just a recap, Kevin from episode one have said he's a liar. He wants to be a liar, he will lie. And now he's trying to say that loyalty is very important. Uh -uh. Circle send. Oh, they're all fighting now. Gianna is so angry. Let's be real. Right, Gianna? They are fighting and throwing each other under the bus. Gara is right. He's such a nice guy. He wants everyone to be friends. He won't get to the end. Isn't it more fun when they're all fighting? I love an online argument. <laughs> That doesn't mean drop me bad things. Just don't do that unless you really want to. It's a valid argument. We can argue down below. Yeah. Oh no. Now they're telling each other who they wanted to block. This is a massive problem. There's no game here. This is all just anger and temper. And Gianna's not acting like a girl here. They're getting lost in their tempers. They're forgetting. Gianna's personality isn't this. The twins need to be careful. I'm just not sure they're doing the right thing here. Send! Oh my god, what a message. The twins are literally fighting for their alliances. I love it, but I just feel it's putting themselves into the blocked scenario. The next rating, the, if the blocked people, the bottom two, will be Kevin and Gianna. Watch this space. Watch this space. Now it's just a stupid argument. Like, this isn't circle chat. This is just, on social media, I'd be out. I would have been out about five minutes ago. So shut up everyone, bye. Kevin's like, Rachel's only fighting now. She Last week, she was vocal. She knew exactly what she wanted last week. This isn't a first for Rachel. She's standing up to her shit. I don't like the arguing, it's like, it's fine, it's fun to start with, but this has been going on for what we're looking at, maybe five minutes? Circle chat is now closed, perfect timing. Let's get the hell out of here and get on with our lives. All the alliances have been put out there, all the hatred has been put out there, we know who's gunning for who. There is no subtlety anymore. There's no secrets, like, that's not fun. How can we watch knowing that they all know what's going on? The only thing keeping us watching now is the fact that we don't know who the catfishes are. They don't know who the catfishes are. I know exactly who the catfishes are. I'm here watching it. Does Garrett pose like this on purpose? Because he knows I'm watching. It's a bit sus. Now they're all reflecting on this argument and the only thing it's done is turn people against the current influencers and not trust anyone. Yes, Darian, get fights. Oh, good axe throwing, Darian. We love it. Aren't these games that they play on their own in their apartments just so cute? What would your favourite game be whilst you're stuck in your apartment on your own? Comment. That was a good shot, Darian. You got that axe in the centre. Oh, we love a slinky. Oh, Madeline is falling for Kevin's game. Don't, don't message Kevin, Madeline. Don't do it. Okay, so she's playing a game with Kevin. Good. She knows, she can see through the nonsense. I'm glad. Oh, she wants to check on him. What a nice approach. I just want to check on you. Make sure you feel okay. Everyone's been really nasty. Let's be friends. Hashtag not another alliance that's not going to work out. No, I'm wrong. It's a good game plan because she wants him to feel safe around her. But I kind of feel that if she's an influencer, she wouldn't think twice about getting rid of him as well. She would block him in an instant. Because she's a bit like him. I think they're kind of similar. They're both game players. So it'll be interesting to see what she does. Make a note of that, because I think I'm going to be right again. In part, I think because of everything that's happened, Kevin doesn't realise that he's given away all his knowledge. He's trying too hard to grasp control back. Thank you. I've literally just said that, Kevin. Literally just said it. Always ahead of the game. Hashtag, I should be in the circle. I like Madeline. She's so cute. Oh, she's a sensitive person. She misses her family. Oh, bless Madeline. 
Oh, they're making a, a real connection now. I love it when like these conversations go real. The game stops, they start actually talking, you get to know them, you can really connect with them. It's not just about the game then, is it? I love it. And these messages would just really upset me. When you've got all that time on your own to process this, hashtag doing it for the fam. They're, squ they're quite similar. You can tell they're quite similar people. Yeah, I was right, Madeline. Her view on Kevin has skyrocketed. I knew it. I think he's genuinely likes Madeline. But he, he likes Savannah. It's not going to... He's a liar. <laughs> and he's sunbathing. The twins are sunbathing in the house. Deb's falling over. And Kevin can't play dominoes. And Gianna and Rachel are in a group chat. And they're in, adding in Rachel. Expand their network. Let's get a bigger alliance. The circle's getting a bit smaller. They need more people on the back. That's a good gameplay. You can't just go with all girls. Get some guys as well. Garrett likes them. He's just not sure because of all the arguing in the chat. They all connect really well. I think because they wanted one of the four guys, Garrett was the right choice because he's gay. He's got the same level of emotional intelligence as Rach, um, Rachel, who's female catfish anyway. That's one of three are catfishes. They all get to the end. Garrett is going to be losing his mind. And he's trying to build bridges for Kevin. Everyone is just trying to get their alliances sorted. That was a massive problematic chat at the start of this episode. Andy, you should have just cast them to the side and focused on someone else. You can't fix bridges that he's 100% against. They are a good alliance because it was Gianna that wanted rid of Andy. I get so lost. You see this every episode, round about the same time. Half an hour in, I get lost. Oh, Garrett's pulled. That came through at the same time. Decline. Decline. Circle. Decline. Oh, he's doing the good thing. He's making an excuse and getting into the next chat. That was a quick exit. And now he's entered the new chat. They're thinking he's sus. Oh, this is stress. And he left the girls chat to go to the boys chat. Which, now he's going to be torn. But that will get him closer to the final. Because he's got an alliance in both sides. Good game, risky game. The boys chat is really interesting though. It's really cute. Garrett, yes. Lean in to the game that they're playing. Garrett's good. I think this is, I think this is going to get him to the end. He's not playing safe. He's playing clever. And he's thinking about the big picture before he makes a decision. I love that. So useful. So great. I kind of think he needs to leave this chat abruptly so that if anyone crosses over, he they, he can say, oh, they did it to me as well. He must have other shit going on. Chat closed. I love that chat. Yeah, you're right. Garrett, you've taken the words out of my mouth. You're in both camps. You don't have to choose sides. If you play this well, you can just work with both. If you become an influencer, that's the only point. It's going to get difficult. Yes, Kevin. Keep it going. Good game. Good game. Good game. What's Wusa? Jadeha speaking to her boo, Darian. My question is, who else has she spoken to? She'll be... If she's not careful, she's going to end up being the lowest in the ratings. She's not opening up. Her chats. She's not expanding her alliances. Darian, I think you're wrong. I don't think it is gameplay. I think everyone's just reacting emotionally. <laughs> yes, and they're being compared to students. Immature. Emotionally. I think they're both in danger here because they don't have much alliance going on. If you think about the two chats that just happened, like with the boys chat and the girls chat, neither of them were in either. They're kind of on the back burner of everything that seems to be going on in this game. So after Savannah, she was really popular, but she still went. There's a danger here. They do have a nice chat together, though. They've got so much in common. I think Jadeha feels like she's on Love Island instead of the circle. So 
they're cementing the alliance that they've both got, but they've had it from day one. You're putting work into an area of the game that doesn't need work. Sort yourselves out. Darian, I know Kevin's your bro, but you need more than two people in an alliance. It's too early in the game. You need more? Hashtag, I have your back till the end. Kings and queens. Mm -mm -mm. What about the rest of the circle, guys? You're on the back. You're missing it all. It's all flying past you. You're next. You heard it here first. Jadeha, Darian are going to be one of the next blocked people. That's my prediction. And they're so focused on getting to the finale together, they're missing that everyone else isn't connected. B Michelle just repeats what I say. We love love, but it's a game show. There you go. Alert! Oh my god. It's not another ratings. I've not even got over Savannah leaving yet. Shortly, you will be given the chance to activate disruptor mode. Again! I thought that was a one-time thing, Circle. Okay, third disruptor mode. We had a good one, a bad one. What is this going to be? Is it going to be good or bad? Madeline thinks the disruptors have been good things. Tonight there are two disruptors. Yes, Rachel, scream girl. That means two people have to say yes. Unless Gianna says yes. That will be the two. Come on, guys. Is it good? Is it bad? You'll just have to take the chance. It's going to be Rachel. The new Rachel takes chances. Gianna will always say yes. But they feel like they shouldn't. Okay. Rachel, yes. Darian. Okay, who is it? Kevin said no. Garrett said no. Jude has said no. Gianna said no. Rachel said yes. Andy, Judeha, Darian said yes. Out of the four, am I right? Am I right? Rachel, Darian, come on. That, that's my prediction. Who got in there first? It's not Andy. I think I'm right again. Oh no, it's not Darian. It's Judeha, Rachel. Oh, Madeline and Rachel. Judeha said no. Again, how confused can one man be? Rachel and Madeline. It all happens so quickly and I can't hear. I'm talking, I'm watching, I'm, I'm thinking. Oh, I can't do everything at once. You and Rachel must swap profiles. That's gonna be for a day. This is a good thing. I said the argument was too much. Something had to happen. Boom. <laughs> Thank you, Circle. You must secretly play as each other. Obviously, this disruption will last until the next blocking. Ah! This is great. They're both going to screw each other over. If you survive the blocking, you will return to your original profile. I think they will get put together if they fail to create a new profile. Yes, please, please. Ah! Circle, you're doing it for me today. Coming up on the next episode. Is that it then? Is that the end? I love this. It's not a cliffhanger. We know what's going to happen. Oh God. It looks like they're going to screw each other over. The apocalypse is coming in the next episode. What's the apocalypse? Oh my God. Zombie games. I love zombies. I cannot wait to do the next video now. Disrupt, come on. <laughs> this looks so good. Oh my God, Circle War. I Michelle, what are you doing to me? Oh, the stress. I need to, I can, at least I can prepare for it. I, I can prepare for the anxiety. I cannot wait to do episode five. What just happened? Michelle, thank you so much. Wow, what a ending. I love this. I've got so much to look forward to for the next episode. I'm so eager to film it. <sighs> Madeline and Rachel are about to swap profiles. Something's happened because it looks like they're about to screw each other over and start fights that weren't there in the first place. People are going to get thrown out by the looks of it. People are going to... All those alliances that they just cemented after the argument, I think are just about to be blown out the water. I can't wait, guys. Please don't give me spoilers, but if you haven't seen it, what do you think is going to happen next? Drop me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss the videos. And I will speak to you next time. Take care. I'm, in sh I'm shook. I can't wait. See you soon. Bye. Pow!